Hello all, my name is Kelsey and I live in Bakersfield, California and uh, today is May 31st, 2017. I've been having some trouble with my lawn getting the Bermuda grass to come back in this uh, tough soil and uh, I decided to take some measures and add some manure to it and shown a time-lapse video here of the effects of the manure. Um, as you can see in the video there's some brown spots on the lawn and uh, this is where the winter rye has died off and the Bermuda is not yet coming up. As I mentioned I, I fertilized it uh, multiple times still no results. Uh, the soil here is very uh, sandy and clay like both. It's a South San Joaquin sandy loam they call it which means it doesn't drain very well and it doesn't have uh, very much organic material in it and uh, it really doesn't hold any nutrients or water uh, the right way that it should. So uh, this here is a spreading tool that I've used to do it. It's a provided in any gardening center and it's uh, basically a wheel with some diamond mesh on it and it does a great job of uh, holding any potential rocks or clumps or sticks or anything from getting on your lawn and uh, you're able to spread it uh, evenly across your lawn. This rich dark manure I purchased from a dairy in Central California uh, in Stratford which is between Fresno and Bakersfield. Uh, they did a really great job with this manure. They, uh, they composted it for eight weeks, turned it, uh, kept it moist and uh, it's, it's really good quality stuff. They had very reasonably priced uh, was was overall very pleased with them and I, in the comment section of this video or the uh, uh, notes below I'll include the contact information uh, for those guys if you're interested in contact them. I, I highly recommend it and you'll see in the time last video uh, it really really does an amazing job for your lawn. Uh, when I first started doing this my, my neighbors were coming out and smelling it and going what what are you doing and uh, it really didn't smell bad it's uh, it just smelled like compost and uh, after a week of looking at it they're knocking on my door going hey uh, maybe I should do that with my lawn so um, it's, it's really amazing uh, what what it what is done for the lawn in a week and up ahead here over the time lapse of how, day to day going through it watching the growth uh, you'll see that it, it's just it's truly incredible what it does um, one thing I would recommend though is if you're going to spread a bunch of manure on your lawn you probably should tell your wife first because uh, uh, coming up here in, uh, in a second uh, is, is the part where my wife came out uh, and noticed that I was spreading manure all over my lawn which uh, didn't go over too well and uh, as you'll uh, see in a second she, uh, she's got the crossed arms which I, I think means she's really pleased but uh, not really sure about that. <laughs> So without further ado, here's, uh, here's where the magic starts in the time lapse. Um, like I said, it's over seven days. Uh, it gets watered uh, three times a week. So in the course of this uh, seven days, it was watered three times. Uh, nothing special was done to it. It just watered it, watered it like normal, like the laws of California say you have to do. Water it once every, or three times, three times a week and no more than that. And as you can see, it, it really started greening up and really going uh, uh, crazy from, from the manure in there. Uh, by the end of seven days, it's, you pretty much can't, uh, can't see any of the manure left. It's pretty well watered in and taken over and grown through. One thing I really want to point out is how rich and dark green the grass is. Uh, my next door neighbor to the very right of that screen there has fake grass and that kind of serves as a standard color for, for all these pictures. Uh, after a week my grass is greener and darker than, than the fake grass is and uh, I may be biased but I, I think it looks better like that. Uh, this is one more before picture and uh, one more after picture after one week of uh, adding manure to my lawn. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you. Thanks.